All right, so we're playing OpenTTD with Uthris. Let me actually unmute everything and uh, join him in the chat. Hello, Uthris, how's it going? Hey, how's it? Um, it's going pretty well, just explaining my HQ setup here. Oh, yeah, that's... What we that's, need to transport. That's a good call. Have we? Have you gone through the list of mods yet on your chat? Not through the whole list. I spot. I, I just started talking about City Builder, though. Which okay. Is a big one. Perfect. Yeah. Let's let's do that all together. Do you wanna do you wanna do the honors? Yeah. Sure. So city builder. Um, if you click on, you basically claim a city, mm -hmm. and that city gives you goals and tasks to fulfill to make the city grow. We do have a set period. So I think the current setting for me is 15 years to get a city to 15,000 people. Um, it's probably a little excessive, but aim high. Yes. Kind of deal. Um, and you know, you right now, my city, for example, is asking for some alcohol and two people to be delivered, and then the town will start growing at a thousand population. They'll start asking for mail to be delivered. Um, is yours about the same? Yeah, mine is, uh, they want alcohol and uh, and passengers when I reach 500 population. Okay. So I think mine's wow. That's 50. interesting. So I need, I need to like send alcohol above every anything else first. They want booze. Well, you know, you, you just gotta liquor them up. <laughs> you know, you gotta buy votes with liquor. Yeah. What what city are you in again? You're. I'm in... on Fred Fredding Hatton. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. I'm on, I'm on the north uh, north, uh, sorry northeast corridor, and you are on Sunley Market, which is like. South, I straight up south, slightly to not the there anymore. I moved, oh. but yes, still in that area. Let's see where you are now. PHQ. Okay, I see you at Friending Hatton. I'm at Conningly. Conningly. So that okay. little peninsula sticking out there, right by the water. Perfect. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Should we should we get this uh, show started? Oh, by the way, uh, people were asking about the mods that we're using. Um, why don't we bring up the list of mods? Because we have a few, sure. quite a few. So so you can actually bring up your GFR settings too. Already on the screen. Game. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> See, one step ahead. Um, yeah, so total town replacement. This is just building variety for towns. UK town set, even more building variety. I mm -hmm. want these towns to be very kind of unique to mm -hmm. each other. So I downloaded a lot of asset pets with that. North American Railway, NARS, uh, this gives us a it's lot more such a kind mix of realistic train. Like Japanese, uh, Japanese, European, American, yeah. mega mix, yeah. And uh, I guess FERS is the biggest overhaul change, the whole completely different uh, chains for industries. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're working with. Perfect. And fish, uh, you said, is boats, basically, for, um, for FERS. Right? Yes. Yes. Because the default vehicles cannot transport furs goods. And so we had to get fish to allow. It actually goes back to 1800. Wow. These boats um, are really nice. We're, we're mm hmm. Interesting. They're huge, some of them. <laughs> Let's see which trains we have available to. Wow. We have a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's get started because I feel like this is going to take a long time. Okay, it's on fast. All right. I think I'm going to start really aggressively by setting some bus routes. We have buses now, so that's <laughs> that's good. We'll that's be able a to bonus. make yeah, we'll be be able to make some money. Oh, by the way, we also changed it so that cities grow in a three by three grid. So that should also make things a bit more interesting. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, the ISR stations are really cool, especially for freight. I need to... Yeah, those are great. Even the pre-made ones just look fantastic. Um, I think we're going to get rid of that. Uh, Wombly Pita, thank you so much for the reset. Three months. Uh, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm gonna start. Uh, I was gonna start naming some some vehicles after after subs, <laughs> in case uh, in case you were wondering. So I, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Let me let me just first build this this little loop. Did you hear any of that? 
No. Okay, great, because I just muted you to talk to my chat. <laughs> You don't want to talk to me. That's fine. No, just like culling subs and stuff might be might be too spammy on your end. Are you starting with buses too? I am starting with trains because I need to start. Actually, I might have to start with some vehicles. You're right. Yeah, I mean, no, no. Start with trains. In fact, start with ships. Oh, <laughs> that's the that's the winning strategy here. And that's the meta right there. Ships. Actually, you might be able to make a lot of money. So uh, let me ask you this. Do you have a, a strategy when you pick vehicles in general? Do you go for just rel reliability or? I do the fastest speed with the highest re reliability. Because speed is, you know, probably one of the most important factors to income. Yes. Um, and so... Yeah, it's, it's a balancing act of how fast do you, can you get it to go, how much can it carry so you make the most, and the reliability so it doesn't break down at all. Mm -hmm. That's like the, the three big things I watch out for. Otherwise, oh. looks. Yeah, looks definitely play a part. Um, have you bothered much with the uh, timetables? Uh, I, I need to. I need to figure that out, but I have not mastered that at all so i mean i've been i've been trying to like like watch some tutorials and some people like sort of explain it like i understand what's happening you basically want to space out your vehicles but it seems to be kind of a manual tedious process yes um and uh there's the patches of the game that apparently are a little bit better when you do the autofill which is what i'm doing now just for fun i don't think it's going to work but uh, and people tend to add like extra ticks on whatever the default version of the game adds on autofill, but that's like too detailed for me to to bother with on, on a stream like this, especially because we want to get a lot of stuff done. Yeah, if I was building like a really small map and I was trying to do like a almost like a really realistic build, I would probably mess a lot more with timetables. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're on my chat, you can do exclamation multi, and you can watch both of our streams on Twitch now, because uh, Uthers is uh, streaming on Twitch. Mm -hmm. So you can get both both uh, points of view. Wow, you're going all kinds of crazy directions, Buzz. What are you doing? Oh, okay, it started from scratch. That's what it's doing. Okay, well, these takes place. I'm gonna do the same over here. God, I'm playing such a long game right now and I hope it pays off. Yeah, we're only going to be uh, playing this for 20 minutes, so whoever gets the most done in 20 minutes wins. <laughs> uh, we're using the 1995 graphics or Open GFX. Uh, we're not using uh, either of those. We're using the uh, a combination of the Japanese set with uh, a UK sort of set. I think there are some some and total town replacement, which I don't think it has a specific style. Yeah, I mean some of the buildings are vanilla, but the open uh, GFX vanilla, definitely not the original base game graphics. Which I actually wanted to uh, import somehow, but I don't have like a CD drive. Like I have the CD of the game, but not anywhere. <laughs> uh, any... I don't know why you didn't get a CD drive. Why would I? <laughs> I haven't used a well, CD in like years. I don't know. Like I, I, I still have Warcraft three on CD. So, <laughs> I thought you were gonna like continue to make a point. Well, like, like the the point is so I can play my old games, man. Yeah, but all the old games that I want to play are already on uh, are basically like available. All right. Did you autofill the thing now? Yes, you have. Okay, I'm gonna do shared orders. Let's get seven buses. This is gonna give us some income. Okay, and 
Yeah, I'm like gonna be shipping farming materials to my farm. I mean, you're definitely gonna be making a lot more money than me, probably. At first, I just want like a steady flow of uh, cash so that I don't have to constantly borrow money. Yes, that is bad. So I hear. <laughs> yeah. So with these two done, I think I'm gonna start. Do you have a? So you, you also need to bring alcohol, right, to your to your city. Yes, I think our progression chains are the same, um, just depending on how big your city is. So I need alcohol and passenger. And as your city grows, their need for those things will increase too. Mm -hmm. Do I have what's the what's the alcohol factory called? Uh, and brewery. This, I think it's no, it's not brewery. It is going to be cider. It's cider. A cider plant. Okay, I'm gonna have to rely on the actual map because I don't okay. know what it looks like. Yes, Yuthris is on Twitch as well. Make sure to follow him. He's starting to to move his uh, live stream action to the to the right platform. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what they all say, and it's true. I mean, so far uh, it's been it's been a nice experience for me. Well, I just like the functions in Twitch compared to YouTube in the sense of like being able to host and and raid and it's it's far more communal. And YouTube feels a little bit more isolated when you're. Yeah, I don't know if that is accurate or makes sense, but. I mean, for me, the biggest thing on YouTube was just randos getting into the chat and like, like spamming garbage. Nonsense. Yeah. Oh, I need to pick like a good station for. Have you picked a? You you still haven't done any uh, alcohol, yet, right? I have not. Fruit loading. Okay, let's start with that. And actually, we want only one track. Man, these are some pretty stations. And then we want an alcohol one, which could be this. Nice. Actually, I don't want to do that. Should probably turn on the game music. Best music. Yeah, it's great music. Like I kind of, if I stream other games, I kind of want to open open TDD and just leave it running for the music. <laughs> I was thinking of playing like the old, like the original uh, playlist. Actually, that might be a better idea. Let's do the original playlist. Got to play it from YouTube though. <laughs> Oh, that's loud. There we go. All right, so we're gonna move oil. Uh, sorry, alcohol from uh, this. Uh, what is it? Cider mill. Yeah, from the cider mill all the way to our town, which actually doesn't accept alcohol, does it? That's bad, which that means that we need to actually fund. Uh, let me ask you this. So do you have a, um, can you actually send alcohol to your city as it is? Or do you need to actually fund a grocery store? You, so this, this is something that I was trying to test myself. Yeah. Um, I lucked out when I was testing that I had like a hotel in the town. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's um, easy. That was like way off to the side, but I didn't see it. So I tried just shipping it to the town first and that did not work. So you need to ship it to an industry, I think, owned by the town. Okay. Which, in fact, I should look for that from the beginning because that. Oh man, kind of I need like 300,000 to be able to make this happen. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, you might want to focus on money first. 
Yeah. Rather than the town. I wish that, uh, hang on, is there... This produces food. Industry chain. I want to see what takes coal, because I have so many coal plants. Um, coal mine to steel mill. That's it. Metal workshop. Yeah, it's just a steel mill. That's a little crazy. Which we have one here. Okay, let's go bananas then. I thought you're shipping coal, not bananas. <laughs> yeah, let's go bananas with coal. Uh, Changing supplies. What is this? Steel chemicals. I guess I could just start with like a short fruit route will be necessary anyways. Ooh, a new articulated hopper truck. It's a really short hop here, but we'll see. Ah, cargo types, fruit. Sure, you're gonna be okay. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out something. Oh, and the cider mill doesn't take any like manufacturing supplies. See how profitable this is. Oh, these need to be refit. Please tell me they don't need to be refit. Yes. They, they will do. need to be refit. God damn it. <laughs> I kind of wish when you when you sort a vehicle to to find like, you know, what vehicles can carry what, depending on that sort is its auto fit when it leaves. That'd be convenient. That would be. I mean, I'm sure there's a some kind of script or mod or something that allows you to do that. Uh, how am I playing? These freight trains. Holy cow! How am I playing with? I'm playing with Uthris. Uh, he's a fellow YouTuber, also a longtime viewer of mine. And uh, you can watch both of us at the same time using exclamation multi. And he's streaming on Twitch now, so you can watch both at the same time. Twitch seems to be more laggy. Uh, video playback on YouTube? Uh, maybe, depending on your location, I guess. Okay, let's see if this works. I love that it's using both my color schemes. Yeah, we, what if we do orange? It's like basically the same color. Blue, no, that doesn't look orange nice. There's always a person outside revving some sort of loud engine. It's great. Yeah, right before we started the stream, there was like literally five cops and some guy on the street yelling to the cops, which probably, I think it ended now, but it was funny. It was like about to start the stream and they just started having a commotion. Now, don't forget your caboose because. Oh, yeah, yeah, the caboose. Cheap. I still haven't done any trains. Oh, I can. Oh, my Tana accepts passengers now. Okay, that's going to be a good thing to work on. I'm gonna do it too. Oh my god, so many aircraft notifications go away. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I wanted. Okay, let's do a short hop from this station. Dude, I like this long warehouse. 
kind of thing. Sure, I can't see the train being loaded. But, oh yeah, uh, but uh, have you sent a train through yet? Mm -hmm. It will open the a door. Right now. Oh really? Yeah, Shoot, I think I'm it opens a door. Side. I know there's one that opens a door as the train gets into the block. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah, I guess I could send some farm supplies to the... The problem is that where do we get the farm supplies from? It Should is we... from a bulk terminal. Yeah, no, I know it's a bulk terminal, but I can't find any bulk terminals nearby. Unless... Um, I think there are usually only like two a map, two or three. Oh, really? That few? Yeah. Because, because, yeah, there's one in the bottom left corner, like, completely. There's the one I'm using, and then... And they're also always on the short line. Yeah, no, I, I know that, huh. I didn't know there were that, that few. Yeah, there's one here. Yeah, you, you got a nice spot over there. Okay, well, we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> I'll just ship some clay to it, and I'll just keep producing more, and... Like you can ship clay to it using a boat, maybe, and pick it up using a boat, since I'm not using kind of a boat around this one. Why am I encouraging you to steal my stuff? <laughs> That's not a good idea at all. I want to do some small passenger trains so that we can start fulfilling at least that goal. Diagonal land. And I went too far. And I spent a lot of money on that. And we want the depots to be there. We're doing Japanese, I guess we should do some Japanese uh, metro trains. Oh, Boku no no Maya wa Utherstow Yes. <laughs> oh, this is super expensive. I can't afford this. All of these metro things are like really, really expensive. Yeah, but their their running costs are super cheap, and so you kind of it's like you pay more up front. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you, I see what you mean. Oh, this one's pretty cheap. Seventy eight percent reliability though. Hmm, it's fast too. Sure, let's try this. Do we have a... We don't have cargo distribution turned on, right? For passengers? No. Oh, no, okay. I don't think so. I don't even know what that is. What so, does that do? it's... Uh, so you can set it to almost everything, but if you set it to passengers and mail, for example, you can have a station, and then you can have attached, you know, bus stops, and uh, all of the people getting there from other places don't necessarily... It's like automatic transfers, so... You deliver oh, people oh. to the station, but then they may want to connect to some other train to go some other place. Why don't I have that on? That sounds great. Uh, we can. Uh, we might be able to turn it on in game, We're actually. Good. So if you go to settings, just search for cargo distribution, and it's oh no, it's grayed out for me. Well, actually, maybe because you're the admin. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says distribution mode for passengers manual. And mail manual. You want to switch that to uh, asymmetric. Okay, and asymmetric. Cool. Oh, there you go. So cool. Now. In fact, I think I forgot to turn off the 90 degree turns, too. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, that is off. Confirmed. All right, let's cool. get another one of these we'll see you. bad boy trains. Can I afford another one? I cannot. That means actual metro lines are profitable. That's good. 
What am I looking at? There we go. That's what I wanted. I hate the name of my city. It's so difficult to pronounce. Path signal there. Let it do its magic. Fredding Hatton? You can also rename it, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna rename it. Okay. Alright, let me let me name this under uh, under the first oh sub my goodness, of the you evening. Are beating me. So this was, uh, how do I rename the train? I know I did that before at some point. Name, there we go. So this is Wamblipida. Here, let's let's use your, your, your casing. There we go. That's your first train. <laughs> Are you actually doing a full load on this one? That's what it looks like. So the thing I don't know is if you like, for example, one of the goals being passengers, can you actually ship passengers from within your city? That's the thing. I'm not I sure. don't know. Try it out. Why don't you try it out with your own money? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, connect the station. There we go. And now we can do that. Man, I can't help myself spending so much money like tweaking the route layout of cities so that they grow more. You know, there's actually a setting to where you can just turn off them laying down roads, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That way, I mean, you had to build 100% of the roads, but if it bugs you that they keep changing the layout, you can turn it off. Okay, so I spent a lot of money. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm getting some money back. You're definitely getting more than me. Oh, is that right? Uh, oh, wow, I see. <laughs> I'm actually netting pounds this time, so my sense of value is way off. Which is weird, considering I'm an American. <laughs> Train two can find a path. Good. What do you mean? Oh, this dumb train went on the wrong track. Ugh. Well, um, you're gonna have to go back. Why did that happen? Did it want it to go to that depot? Okay, this this layout is not good. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Wembley. <laughs> uh, I just now I need to make sure that you go to the right station. I can put it. Why did it go the other way? Should be able to now go over here. No.
Now, are you using uh, coal, diesel, what type of train to get? I'm using diesel for now. Okay, this train is stuck here. So, you're gonna go. Yeah, you, def you definitely got buses. Don't count. The bus strategy is winning. Yeah, I'm so confused. I, I can't get these trains to go the right way, and I don't know why. Are you using one-way signals? signals? Uh, I'm using path signals. So path signals are two-directional, and they're a little weird. Um, try using one-way path signals. Well, the problem is that they can. I need them. I need them to be two ways, but I guess I can just uh, like little use regular block signals for this. I'm maybe overthinking it. Yeah, I still I still haven't figured out a good way to use actual path signals. Like I even watched a tutorial this morning, and I'm looking at it like, hmm, still doesn't make sense. Hmm. I think it's because one of the trains wanted to use the closest depot, which is not the one they were supposed to use. Yeah, that's always frustrating. Yeah. You see, yeah, this stupid train wants to go over there. Let's just stop. So, you... Or is it because they have the same shirt orders? No, they don't have shirt orders, but they have the same orders. That's why. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna go there. And you're gonna come on, turn around, turn around. We got you, Wembley. You're going to your <laughs> to your right station. <laughs> there we go. Now it's working. And now we don't need this anymore. And I think I can use path signals now. Let's see if that works. towns in my town right now. <laughs> I'm I'm fulfilling my passenger quota, so that's that's good. I mean I might just be able to take a loan and, and get the store right away. Seems a bit risky but Hmm, let's do this. Two tracks and five tiles. Wait, is this fruit? Yes. So fun to see like a cathedral beside a Japanese temple. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get when you mix twenty different million mods from all over the world. Like the the city on the far left is Chun Town is such. I don't know. I, I just love it. I'll take a look in a minute. I also want to see what you're doing. Don't spy on me. That's rude. Ruth's not, Ruth's not gonna stop me from seeing what you're doing. Oh, I hate having like short turns, but once we get money, we'll fix this.
Is this electric? Do we have an electric? Oh, yeah, we do. I guess all my mm -hmm. tracks are electric. I see. Okay. Oh, you've been building an electric car? I didn't realize. Of I was just like, them. I just went for it. <laughs> I mean, I haven't built that much anyways, but I guess I could save some money on maintenance. One thing I don't like about furs is that there's, because there's so many more industry types, the map feels cluttered. Yes. I guess if you uh, tone down the the level of um, of uh, industries, because right now we have it to what like medium or whatever the it's not low yeah, for it's sure. The lowest setting. Oh really? Huh. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Okay. Furs, furs ignores the industry count setting. It just does its own thing. It's just like, hey, we're gonna just shove everything together. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Not capacity. Uh, have I looked at Simitrans? I've looked at it, but um, I haven't actually played it. I've seen some screenshots. And by the way, Wombly, thank you for the bits. I didn't. I saw them before, and I didn't. Uh, didn't mention it. <laughs> Hopefully, your train is still running. Let's double check that for a second here. Yeah, that seems to be working fine. Have you played uh, Simutrans, Uthers? Played what? Uh, that game, Simutrans. No. What's it about? Uh, I think it's kind of similar to OpenTTD, um, but uh, I have I've never played it. I've only seen like screenshots, so that's why I was asking. What's the speed of these guy? 100. All right, let's take a go see what you're doing. Oh, wow, you're expanding fast. I mean, you're using path signals all over the place, one-way path signals. I always use one-way path signals, um, but I don't use the normal path signals at all. I like, I don't know how they work. Hmm. I, I mean, mean so you put they them work the same as one-way, but like, nah. Yeah, they're visually confusing. But so the way that that works is you place it, like for example, outside of a station that exits on both ends. Uh, so it only affects the trains on the facing side of the signal, but trains can, you know, go on the opposite side, ignoring whatever that signal is. So it's basically, it's the same as a one-way path signal, except it's two-way. I don't know if that explanation made anything any better, but... I think it did. Oh man, should I borrow all of my money and get the thing? <laughs> sure, yeah, let's go crazy here. How much was that industry? Like 369. Oh, I need to keep borrowing more. Ah, I can't. I borrow everything and I still can't afford it. I know I can't afford it. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I need to place it on a house. There we go. Great. So I have receiving alcohol now. Oh my God. This, this was such a bold move. Hey, you know, it, it might get you the big win. We'll see. I already forgot to refit my second train, so that's not a good start. <laughs> Keep doing that, friend. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm making money, so that's not bad. It's just kind of a waiting game now. Uh, I have not played Soviet Republic Works and Resources. I've, I've heard of it, but like, I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, Sneaky Ninja says that the normal pathway signals are more for the terminal stations, which I agree with. I really want to run this alcohol train. Let's see if we can start putting down the station as we slowly...
I might have to move this track. And I ran out of money. <laughs> oh, so close. Yeah, I'm about to hit my max loan myself. Let's take a look at the cash flow. Not looking good. Have I played the old Anno games? I have not. I have I, I've, I've seen other people play it, but I've personally never played them. They look nice, but I feel like it's like too like pre-made. You're just like putting down a lot of pre-made blocks. There's not that much creativity. That's what I felt when I played it myself. I was kind of hoping it'd be more like City Skylines. Yeah. I was actually a little disappointed it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, th this one is like pretty primitive. Th this game right now, OpenTT, is kind of primitive compared to CDs too, but I don't know. There's still like, you can get somewhat creative with your track placement and your roads and things of that nature. And plus the modding community is really good, which always just keeps everything alive in video games. Hmm, yeah. Tell that to the SimCity 4 folks. Well, you know, that's not the modern community's fault. That's the developer's fault for ruining it. Yeah. Oh, man, this train is not making any money. Wait, why didn't you just unload all of the fruit? Hmm. Is it because of the asymmetrical? Yeah, but it's you turn it on only for... Uh... Passengers and mail? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, is it because I didn't refit the whole thing? No. 10 tons of fruit. Thanks for mentioning refitting. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, unload all, I guess. Okay, now it's empty. Wow, this is not making any money at all. Why is this so bad? And it's still picking up fruit from the actual, from the actual station. Hang on, something weird is going on here. I'm gonna change my color a bit because I think dark green's hard to see. <laughs> yeah, it kind of blends in with everything else. I wonder if it's because There you go, that's a little brighter. Oh, because there's another orchard here, that's why you're like loading stuff and taking it from the actual trucks, that's dumb. Just wanna, no, no, I want basically, how do you tell it to unload and nothing else? Just go away, unload all. I don't want to take uh, cargo. No loading. If you click the... Yeah, that. There we go. All right. So this one should... That should help things out. 
Let's skip this guy and see what it what, what it does. We might need to increase the capacity of this fruit train a little bit. This one is 20 crates, 30 resistance, much as we can get. Yeah, let's get this instead. That's all we can do. Great. Been awfully quiet. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just talking about my plans. I can't, I can't tell you my plans. That's so mean. Oh, there's fruit here too. No, I could fill in this whole ocean. That's, <laughs> that's part of your plan. Uh huh. There's actually a couple cool little towns on this map on islands, like Sutting Head and uh, the one I'm delivering to Dun Name's not cool, but you know, the hmm. it's got a farm on it. Have you, um, are you still on like the raw materials uh, side of the uh, supply chain or I guess you've- Yeah, I'm, I'm just now getting fruit up to my uh, cider mill. Mm -hmm. Let's do another. I'm trying to figure out how to get stuff into my town now though. That's, that's gonna be the thing. But I'm repaying my loan first, I think. Oh, that's good. I mean, not for me, but just for you. Is there a shortcut to kind of hide station names that you know of? Uh, not station names. You have to go to the gear thing. I mean, maybe there is, but I don't know about it. Oh, this one's pretty cheap to run, and I can afford it. See if there's anything cheaper. Uh, sure, let's go with this one. Ah. Oh, 
come on, I can almost afford like a quarter of a train to start making some more money. Yes, so you can actually pop out the transparency menu and uh, just click a button, apparently. Hmm. Rather than going to the gears every time. It's like Control X. Control X. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have that pinned to the screen, but I... Oh, I guess... Oh, I see. Oh, it's the first one, right? The the leftmost icon. Yeah. So you're gonna be alcohol. We're gonna buy a second one. Are you alcohol as well? You're not. You know what? You're just gonna start with the two carriages. Uh, there is no command to see all the mods that I'm using, but I can show you. These are all the mods that I'm using. Well, that we are using. Take a screenshot, it will last longer. I feel like even though it's a slow start, it's significantly faster than the previous game that we did. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this guy to, uh, I mean, it's already sitting there waiting for load. And once I can afford a couple more uh, wagons, I will add them oh, to this train, send it to our general store here, and uh, slowly but surely start converting this into a two, a dual way uh, sort of uh, track. That way we can start fitting more trains because uh, we obviously need to get a lot of alcohol into the city. Is it keeps going to the wrong thing, so I need to like manually tell it where to. Go. Uh, just let it do its thing. Eventually, we'll find the the path of glory. Yeah, no, it's it's lost. <laughs> oh, I didn't refit it. God damn it! That's wide. See how much money I made from that one wagon. Ooh, dude, that's not bad. What are you shipping? Alcohol? Uh, yeah, I'm already on the alcohol route. Uh, let's actually see if we can afford more. All right, three is max. There's an alcohol train. In the depot right now. I'm about to send it back to pick up alcohol. As you can see, I'm already planning my expansion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You sure would like to do the uh, overpass. What do you mean? Well, for you, like, um, and besides your dual, dual rail, but I'm talking about like your coal to um, wherever your coal route's going. I don't have a coal route. That's okay. free. Okay, yeah, your fruit, how it like overpasses. Yes. Yeah, so I, I one thing that I learned is that uh, the hard way, mind you, is that you want to keep your uh, incoming supplies separated from your exports. Um, that way, because because then uh, if if you have like let's say four tracks and four of those tracks are occupied by a train loading, and then there's no way for trains to give you the raw materials to for, for that to take place. They're just sitting waiting there, and it's like a loop, a, a vicious cycle of some sort. So I want to keep those separated. All of my raw materials on the one side and my exports on the other, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. You're right. In fact, let's call this what it is. This is storage, so that's okay. C 
see how much money this makes. It's full of alcohol. Nice, 25 grand. That's awesome. I have a train that literally doesn't know how to train. <laughs> okay, so I just delivered a ton of alcohol. Why is it not upgrading? Hmm. Does it, I mean, I wonder how long it takes for this to be updated. Or this is somehow bugged. Let's repay the loan a little bit. Have you had any, uh, you still haven't delivered anything from the main calls, right? No. Not even passengers? There's my trains just aren't working. Oh, right now. now it's working. All right, my town is growing. Yes. <laughs> Terran jokes. Hello to you, sir. Like I have this junction and they just refuse to go up the correct way. It's so weird. I don't know where they're doing this. Here, let's let's see what you're doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a freebie. <laughs> uh, this this one that's stuck on the diagonal. No, the one before it should have turned right there, but it didn't. Um, and so they're just they just keep going back and forth between these two when the two last trains need to be going north, and they just don't know how to make that turn. Uh, cause so the the one that's stuck in the middle of the intersection needs to go all the way north. Yeah. Uh, you you're missing a, a turn, on so on this fork that is stuck, the next one coming up, it, it only turns right instead of left. Like here, there you go. Okay. Was that it? I mean, like that might fix it, but also they're supposed to go to the orchard too. But I'll, I'll try that first and see if that. Kind of fixes it. Well, I mean, the next uh, uh, order is not the orchard. There's an implicit order. That's. I hate implicit orders. Yeah, yeah I hate it too. Uh, you can uh, get turn that off by going nonstop. I think. Okay, so that one finally made the turn. Good. Cool. I think that was it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you can deposit. For that information. You can deposit a uh, thirty thousand on my account, and that's like pretty cheap, honestly. I can't give money that's loaned away from the bank. Oh really? They, it's that a thing, or you because, just? Yeah, because I I just don't have debt, and so I can't loan money because <laughs> it's not my money to loan. <laughs> it's okay. You'll owe me plus interest. It's fine. All right, let's get uh I think we're ready to start uh Oh, still can't afford a second train. This is going to be tricky now.
Hmm, how do I make this work? Can you have like two stations that are different touching each other? Like two different types? No, it's just like, I mean, not two different types, like two separate different stations with different names, like on adjacent yes, tiles. But you, you, you have to start them separate and then get them to touch and they would remain separate, I think. Okay, okay. Let's do this instead. Second. No, my local authority doesn't like me. <laughs> Classic. Mm hmm. Here, have, have some trees. I heard you guys like trees. They, they're very fond of trees. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, wow. This is a different dock model. Oh, yeah, there's multiple kinds. Clone you? Do I have enough money? Not even close. I guess I can borrow some money. Maybe this pavement will help? Nope, still no. Now it does. kind of locked myself into this corner of the city. So I have a lot of demand for passengers, but not enough trains to serve them. Uh, maybe I could duplicate the capacity of this. What's the rating on this? It's only good. Can you please go to the depot? Thank you. Forty-six thousand that I don't have. That's okay. We'll clean it later. Uh, I guess like yeah. Press control to uh, create separate stations. Yeah. The problem is I don't know if I visually want them touching. That's why I decided to like leave a gap. Taking its time to load this one. I could do more with buses. Yeah, I guess I can add a few more buses, especially between these two cities. That might be a thing. I really like this Whippet Scenic Cruiser Coach. Is that a passenger one? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a bus. Come. Is that the really fast one? Like the 60 mile an hour one? Uh, this is 96 kilometers oh, an hour. Wow. Oh, kilometers. kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's run one of these guys, see what it does. Actually, I wanted to keep this open because we should timetable this. Not that it matters all that much, <laughs> I don't think. Let's run three of them. Two thousand. Wow, there's, there's no one waiting at this station, really? Oh, my town stopped growing. I need more fruit faster. How much alcohol are you delivering? Um, is there an easy way to tell? Yeah, you just click on your town. You're I mean, right now zero, I'm delivering 52. zero, but at some point I delivered like 140 something. How big is the map? The map is uh, 512 by 512. This is the entire map. And yes, we're using a lot of mods. Here, I'll show you real quick. These are all the mods that we're using. Take a screenshot. <laughs> um, I might actually send this guy back. Hey, Little the Monkeys is hosting. Thank you so much. Welcome everyone. We're playing Open TTD. We're now playing City Skylands today. Uh, I have Uthris on the other side. You can watch both of us at the same time using exclamation multi. Uh, he's on, on Twitch now. And uh, yeah, this is uh, modded open uh, TTD. And for those of you who have no idea what this game is, it's a very old game from like the 90s. I think uh, I just need to keep paying off my loan. Except this is a um, open source version of the game that uh, it's been out Too since bad. 2004 and we're trying to grow well, we both pick a city and we're trying to like make it grow. Right now I need to like deliver alcohol, which is the strain, what the strain is doing. Hopefully this will update and the town will keep growing. Whoever ends up with the biggest town at the end of however long we're gonna be streaming, basically wins. This is where we're at. I'm, I'm ahead by a few points, but Ethris is like very close behind. Hey, Maddie, how's it going? Thank you for, for the host. All right, so this guy is empty. All right, I really need farm supplies. Uh, that's gonna be an issue. Literally the closest bulk terminal is yours. <laughs> um, I mean, let me check the map again. I think so. Yeah, there's only two in the map, god damn it. Uh, or, or I can find my own. Oh, three million. Oh. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's... That's, that's tough. Do you have any more farms anywhere? If you're looking for more fruit farms, I think there's some near you. Yeah, there's there's another Along one the coast. kind of around here. Still a bit of a stretch. Hey, more money, farther it goes. I think I'm gonna start moving another type of cargo just to make money. 
Yeah, I might do the same. Call station. So let's flatten this out. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect this coal plant to the steel mill, and then I'm going to create like a little shuttle service from this coal mine to this one, that way we, and also from this one, we have like a three-way coal situation going here. Uh, by combining all these three and sending them to the steel mill, we'll have a pretty decent production and that's gonna provide uh, some cash flow, positive cash flow, hopefully to uh, operation. Uh, but what I wanna do is move this just one tile, that way we avoid this factory over here or whatever that is, I think it's just a scrap metal. Just for symmetry's sake, let's do that. Yeah, there we go, we just avoided that factory. Have you been uh, repaying your loan? Um, I've been trying to. I'm also fiddling with things, which basically means wasting money. Yeah, I'm still maxed out on my loan. <laughs> Double ship? I don't know what you just said. <laughs> My first level ship. Oh. Because I have to get my alcohol across this small, like, lake, and bridging across it in a train is just not gonna be. I see, I see. It's the way it hooks up to the town, and just a logistical nightmare. Oh, that's not what I wanted out there.
All right, so with that in place, just need to add more signals. Oh, I just went British style on my signals. Hmm, that's wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. There's no easy way to like update all the signals right now. No. I guess I can do that. All right, no more signals. This is fine. <laughs> Is there a way to see a list of the exact mods that I'm playing? Yes, I'll show you the list. I've been showing it like every 15 minutes, but here it is. Take a screenshot, quick, come on. You have two seconds. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna keep building while, while you take a screenshot there. Um, so we have the station coming in from here. Uh, what I wanted is a depot that trains can use uh, while they're in this station. It's like a two-way sort of thing. So like this. 60,000 from delivering alcohol. I'll take it. Yeah, alcohol is uh, it's a pretty decent uh, source of income. People like their, uh, their booze. <laughs> you don't say. All right, I'm about to close this. So we have that, that. Get some block signals going. Is there a shortcut? Um, is there a shortcut for removing the um, the signals? You know how if you hold Control when you're in the auto track mode, um, it will like remove. So, so I think you can hit the tractor mode what like click on the signal and then hit the little bulldozer no no i know uh, you I was... can just drag al along the whole line and it should remove no the... i know that but like I, if i want to remove an individual one and if i'm placing one i want like a quick shortcut so like do you know that if you're in so auto if you're replacing one you can hold control and just upgrade it so. no i just want to like remove one no. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like, do you know that when you use the auto rail, you can hold control and it will like toggle the d demolition while you hold control, right? No. Yeah, that's so handy. Like, I, that, that's been a suggestion in the comments uh, on, on my OpenTTD series and it's the life, lifesaver. Seriously, it's great. See, I, I just built everything right the first time. Oh, I see, I see. Uh-huh. Let's keep repaying the loan. Okay, so these path signals will allow trains that are maybe sitting on the station to go to the depot and then back if they need to keep loading. That's sort of the idea here. And the stations try something work and as a block signal. going to work, but I just want to see if it does. Yeah, just try it. Try try all of the things. The riskier, the better. Uh, this, I don't like this. Climb up, but don't have much of a choice. Man, there's so many like locomotives. I don't even know which one to pick. Yeah, and, and a lot of them are actually not very good at all. You're like, why? Yeah, why did they put this in here? It's just clutter. Uh, sort by speed. Uh, can't afford this one.
want to buy this one. Screw it. Well, at least this one is coal by default. Okay, so full load here and unload there. This one is going to be producing steel. We need to figure out what to do with the steel. Oh, it requires scrap metal. We can also get scrap metal from here and from here. Oh, this is going to be great. We're going to have a whole supply chain. The problem is, what do we do with the steel? I need to like look at the... Uh, here, while we make some money, I guess I can just borrow money and get this done quickly. Why not? New vehicles. Keep buying more. That's probably fine for now. And uh, off you go. What is this? Uh, this is iron ore. Oh, I can also get ore into here. Oh, this is perfect. I forgot about that. We have scrap metal here too. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have a lot of uh, shuttle services. If you pin a menu and you hit escape, does it close the pen menus or not? Uh, so the shortcut that I use for closing things, the shortcut that I use for closing things um, is uh, delete, and it will remove everything but the pin ones, pinned ones. Did that work? Oh, sorry. I just answered your question, but I was muting you. <laughs> um, the the shortcut <laughs> the shortcut that I use to uh, close the windows is delete, and it will right. clear everything but the pinned uh, the pinned uh, windows. Okay, good. Just didn't want to lose those before doing it. So, based on our company goals, you are ahead by 144 points. Yeah, that's been stuck since like the beginning of the game. I don't know if, if that is actually being updated too much. My tone is still well, not growing, unfortunately. The points kind of just look like what our population is, to be honest. You got oh. 698, and I'm at 554. Oh, that makes sense. What was your starting population, do you remember? Mine was like, okay, mine was like early 600. So I guess I gained like 60, like 98 or something. I don't know. Oh, this train made it. Nice. How much money did you make? 10 grand. Okay, that's not too bad. It's terrible. You should fire him. <laughs> and what? Hire you? Pfft. <laughs> uh, you, you couldn't afford to hire me. Whoa, okay. Did I buy the right? Oh, I bought like some random thing. Dude, there's so many coal train, uh, coal uh, freaking trucks. Yeah, I think like every truck type can carry coal. Yeah. Sixty-one, thirty-five. Again, here I am making the world's longest metro line. Let's do three of these guys. See what it looks like.
Dude, I love the tunnels in this uh, tile set. Yeah, and the tunnels change based on what you're using too, which is cool. So I think you're using electric ones, right? Uh, electric rail. And yeah, I'm using electric rail, but I was talking about like road tunnels. Oh. Where do you have one of those? Uh, by my coal mine. Oh. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Just pretty sweet? <sighs> come on. Pretty, come, that's high praise. Oh no, why is my train stopped? That's a, a good sign. Fly fart one. Hello to you. <laughs> that's quite the. That's quite the the username. <laughs> uh, okay. Everything, everything okay? Uh, you'll get a newspaper here soon. I oh, I see, I see. I, I think I can't already tell what's happening. <sighs> see how fast this guy fills out? Fills up. Just can you go to the depot, please? Thank you. Okay, now you can go. Oh, I messed this up. Uh, this should supposed to be transfer. I didn't get a notification to whatever it is that you caused. Oh, wow. Guess it wasn't newsworthy. <laughs> well, maybe it did. Uh, Citizen Celebrate. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Crashed. That's a lot of money. I, I thought you were reading Citizen Celebrate for the crash. I'm like, well, Citizen <laughs> Celebrate the crash, yes. <laughs> maybe strict toaster citizens. We don't talk about them here in Uther's Co. I delete a lot of trees, so the citizens on this town don't really like me, I don't think. Man, this is slow to produce. Okay, something's wrong here. Oh, I suck at this game. <sighs> no wonder my town wasn't growing. You weren't delivering alcohol? I, I, yeah, I moved my alcohol station just one tile and it's no longer touching the cider mill. And it's been many years since I've done this. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, let's, let's get this fixed. Oh, actually, there's an easy way to fix this. Also, elegant way to fix this. You know, I was so close to paying off my loan, and now I had to replace train. There we go. We now we have a nice warehouse. Come on. Go back, you go back. Man, farm supplies, I really need some farm supplies. Is this a, what is this thing? Yeah, man, you, you gotta get the uh, bulk the, terminal. The gun, the gun ho um, production. Can I clone this train? 
I need one of At least my train didn't make it carry the right thing. Much money did you make? Nice. Man, that was like my whole like half a year supply of alcohol just burned <laughs> up and crap. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I wasn't delivering alcohol for years. It was a dry town, basically. Well, I mean, if you wanted to pass prohibition, you could have <laughs> voted on it. It's uh, prohibition by default. Where's the train? Oh, there it is. Poor, poor guy didn't deliver any anything. Ratings here are just simple good. Um, I want to see how much that costs. Forty-seven thousand. Okay. I think I'm going to send this guy to the depot and the depot's right there. What are you doing? Oh, you can't join them. Oh, yeah, you can. There we go. Try the remastered soundtrack. Depot's right there. Why do you mean you can't find it? <laughs> Come on, get a full load. My town is growing slowly. <laughs> it's what this says. My town isn't growing or nothing at all. Nope. I have plenty of alcohol in storage, though. I have nothing in storage. I mean, I deliver about 70,000 of it each time. Yeah, how much are you shipping? I couldn't tell. That information eludes me. Uh, 46,233 galleons. Galleons? <laughs> yeah, galleons. You know, the big wooden ship. It's great. Why are you reading that? I click on your train. Oh, total cargo? Details. Yep. Oh, uh, okay, I see. 175,000. Great. Yeah, you're, you're, you're making money again. Yeah, no, I'm definitely making money. If you look at the profit graph, you can see the moment I had a crash. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap, you're making so much money. 
Okay, I need to step up my game. This is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start sending ore and metal scrap to that station, so we need to really increase the size of this and do a lot of changes here. In fact, we will have to maybe even move this. Hope that's enough. See, this one made 64,000 this year, and this one made 25 this year. Okay, so these are like, yeah, 12K per run, which is not bad. If we can get a similar amount from uh, these, uh, from ore, that would be nice. Obviously, we have a lot more coal here. Actually, you know what? Let's just clone another one of these guys. I need a bit more money for that. Come on, I need to, oh, there we go, great. So let's send it your way, and then I want to, what's the actual model here? EMD SW1500. Uh, non, EMD. I think it's this one. Sure. Oh, I need more money. So let's borrow money. And we want iron ore on a large hopper. And I guess that's it. And these will have shared orders. That's okay. Oh, I can buy the rest. Hang on. We want the five tiles, or at least 4.9 in this case. Uh, let's make sure that this is refitted to iron ore. There we go. And off you go. Let's see what happens. Uh, the new tracks at the coal station only have access to the depot. New tracks at the coal station only have access. I don't understand your question. Uh, have a good night, Wombly. Thank you so much for, for the bits and for the subs. Uh, yeah, I'm repaying my loan every, every once in a while, but I also keep spending things. I guess I can just repay it real quickly. The interest is, I mean, I guess there is some level of interest, but I'm making way more than I'm spending there. Um, Martin, what man, this is such a mouthful name. Um, yeah, so these tracks, the, all of the new tracks have access to the, all of the tracks have access to this depot and it's, uh, they can go back and forth because these are like uh, two way path signals. Maybe that answers your question. I also want to like improve this uh, little segment here because it's, it's a little bit steep. Hang on, let's get that fixed. We want at least five tiles. Five tiles. So 
see how close we can get this to. Something like that. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I need... Wait. This should be able to get in. I thought that was a clear entrance there, but I guess it wasn't. Yeah, that should have been a thing. Interesting. Bye, it's your boy. Have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, you're missing a piece of rail to allow the new platforms to bypass the depot. Platforms to bypass the depot. We have it now. They have to enter to the deep to leave the station. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, this one right here. That should do it. But also, I don't understand why they were just sitting here waiting to enter. I mean, this is a kind of a tight spot, and we might need to move this station one tile over. Uh, I want to see how much this train makes. Oh, 20 grand. Not bad. Keep repaying our loan. Redenhaden is growing, slowly but surely. Uh, I think we want, like, this train just, like, a little bit shorter and, like, more frequency. So let's maybe clone it. We need 85. Let's keep borrowing some more money. Actually, you know what? Let's clone it from this other depot. And we're gonna remove. So, how are you enjoying the mods uh, so far, Strick? Uh, they're great. Thing going forward. Yeah, I was just talking to my chat. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. I like it. I mean, there's so much to do. Like it, everything is just a massive rabbit hole. Yeah, but, it feels like you don't really get. At least I don't get as bored as easily because there's so much more. Like just shipping alcohol to a town has made me make this giant train line. Yeah. But also now I'm, I want to like improve it because obviously I'm, I was just cutting corners just to save some money, but it looks kind of ugly the way I have it set up now. So now I want to, you know, make it nice. All right. So you can go. Oh man, it's so difficult to find the, like if you want to replace what you had before, I think it's gone. That's why it's not even showing up. I guess yeah, I will no, buy you. My dream, so. Though if you think about it, it's only been seven in-game years so far. Hmm. Take advantage of this, so let's remove it. And we've been streaming for like two hours now. Hmm. Yes. Off you go. So one thing that I found, and I'm gonna give you like a free tip, <laughs> is um, 
No, th this one is free. Um, but like, so I was just sending like one long train to like alcohol train to the CD, but the problem with that is that it's just sitting sitting there waiting for the full load for quite some time. And I think what you want is like a constant flow of alcohol as fast as possible. So I ended up splitting my alcohol in like tiny trains, like three tiny trains that hopefully will take care of the requirements of the city. If that makes any sense. Yeah, because it, it's asking for the requirements every three months. And so if you have it waiting longer than that, it you lose the alcohol bonus. Mm -hmm. And so your town stops growing. Yeah. Have I you just ever deliver so much that I have so much in stores that that doesn't happen. You've uh, have you ever grown your city at any point, or it's still kind of stuck there? I'm looking at your I, stats. I did in my test save, um, but I'm about to start shipping people, which is a requirement above L500. Mm -hmm. So it will start here. Nice. I uh, should probably consider having a much more capable passenger line. Yeah, I just made a giant. I wonder if new bulk terminals were open. I wasn't paying attention at the at the news articles. Uh, let's see. I guess I can just check this. No, not that. Uh, let's do that. No, still two. Man, I that's... mean, you could just ship some like across the whole map <laughs> using boats. Uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah, that's not going to work, especially because you're, I mean, are you providing it with anything or you're yeah, just Yeah, you have taking... to provide it with clay and, or, uh, food. In fact, I need to start providing mine with food because if you provide it with both types, it gets even better. Mm -hmm. Wow, you have quite the station here. I might need to do that. At my main town? Yeah, your main town is has a pretty nice station. All right, let's start preparing for this. In the meantime, let's repay the loan. Can almost pretty much repay my whole loan now. Let's do this. Or not. Oh shoot, I should have uh, outfitted these things with some mail cars. Right, yeah. Oh, the local authority hates me. <sighs> Don't worry, mine too. <laughs> I still have trees. I haven't that I gotten can... them drunk enough. Yeah, I guess I guess that will be one way to do it. Let's put some trees in here. Very poor, poor. Just give me mediocre. I like mediocre. <laughs> I'll settle for mediocre. There we go, mediocre. <laughs> and I just deleted more trees. Man, this uh, modular stations look awesome. Yeah, and what I did with my stations here right now, at least for my passenger line, is I just put down big slabs, and I'm going to go back in and re-edit them here in a bit, mm -hmm. and make them look pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's like way too long. 
I might need to destroy this river. Oh man, destroying rivers is so expensive. Yeah. I just spent like a hundred grand deleting rivers. I think I'm gonna use Tokyo Station. Uh, I guess I could have uh, joined these two stations. I am sad. It doesn't fit. Train two is lost. Already? On like a track that goes only to one station? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we can fit a ginormous station here. Hang on, how big did I make this? Six, okay. Something in the way. Oh, the orchard is in the way. Okay, let's plant a gazillion trees, that way the city no longer hates us. Mediocre, there we go. Mediocre is good. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of those. Oh Do wow, we are literally tied on profit right now. Are we? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But your, your spikes are way bigger than mine. Mine is like more like steady. Yeah, I need to work on that. I need to work on that. <laughs> yeah, having the slabs uh, and then dealing with the rest of the station later, it's probably not a bad idea. Oh crap, I think I need to fund an industry in my town. Oh, cause you can't get alcohol? No, passengers. What do you mean, passengers? I don't think just taking it to the pass to the town works. You have to take it to an industry in the town. Passengers? Same with alcohol, I think. No. Or no, you're growing. No, How it's are it's you growing. It just takes a while for for it to work. But yeah, no, towns accept passengers by default. That's like literally the only thing they accept. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> okay, no, it's, it's updated now. Still don't trust you. <laughs> uh, you should see the city stations, rural stations, and suburban stations mod at some point. I have, actually. Uh, I haven't... I found the rural stations and suburban stations, uh, DRFs, but not city stations. Uh, and chip stations. I've seen those as well. Uh, for some reason, they're bugged in 1.9. And by the way, uh, 1.9 just came out, like... April 1st, uh, and like some like station labels are missing. I don't know why it's happening to you too. Yeah, they probably just haven't updated it to 1.9 yet. Yeah, that's probably why. Okay, how do I make this work? Obviously, I don't want to share the same track with cargo, so we'll have to go this way. And ideally, we wouldn't have to climb up that mountain. I gave them like half a million in trees and they were just like, nah. <laughs> Not Thank enough. You. I guess I can just go around here maybe? I'd rather go this way, honestly. I'm about to destroy half a mountain. I think I am. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's repay the loan. 
All right, loan free. Or debt free, I guess. Okay, let's try to make sense of this. Oh, you're on, on RC2, I see. Um, yeah, uh, 1.9 actually like messed up a lot of my things. Um, I'm using um, the Windows High DPI scaling and uh, they added an option or if actually a feature in the game that like ignores it so that it renders with the default like pixel perfect uh, resolution. Uh, and it was driving me nuts. I had to like report it as a bug and they were like, nope, that's not a bug. That's a feature. So this is how what you do to fix it and I had to go in like the Windows settings and change it. Uh, that way you guys can see a proper scaling of the UI and read the text because otherwise it was like way too tiny, even though it's set to what is it now? Double size font and interface. Transfer is lost. Why are you lost? What? Why is my population 286 now? 286? Yeah. What? Oh my god, your town is like really small now. It was a little bit bigger. Building, I think they're changing the buildings up. Yeah, wh whenever they delete like a large building, you will lose population for a bit. Uh, I think we should wrap the stream now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's let's set like a time goal of some sort. That way, another hour, two. I mean, it's up to you. I can go for another. Let's 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 talk about again in a, in an hour. And if I don't win, then we'll be. <laughs> uh, I think an hour and a half would be pretty nice. So it's okay. twelve oh seven p.m. where I am. It's what like two oh seven where you are. Oh, three oh seven. Yeah, let's go for another hour and a half. Okay. Um, I really want to terraform the crap out of this mountain. But it's so big. Also, how much would that be? 600,000. I can't afford that. Music just kicked it into high gear. Music? Yeah. I've been playing music off of YouTube, so. Is that like actually a thing? No. Like in suddenly a fast beat song started to play, but it's not related to what you're doing in the game. Is it? No, it's just random play. I, I don't know how the ju if the jukebox is actually random or if they're always in the same. To be honest. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can do like a gentle slope here. Uh, 
Oh, local authority won't let me delete that bridge. I don't care. Now your bridge blocked. I might need to tunnel under here. Oh, this is way too long of a tunnel. I think you should just tunnel across the whole map. Uh, I might have to. Yeah, no, I can't do it this way. There's the other tunnel there. It's just bad for everyone. I'm trying to get up to the uh, farming supplies. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm just trying to start building my like heavy passenger line. In fact, I might ditch this line and just keep this one as a train. I don't know. Uh, but I need to go around this. There's no way. There's no other way around it, ironically. I wish there was a way to like plan your routes a little bit. Um, I think there is a mod for that. Like that allows you to draw on the map sort of thing? Yeah, kind of. I could be wrong though. I could be thinking of another game though. Hmm. No, I think you're right. I, th I remember seeing something like that. Okay, so... I want to try to stay up here. I think I'm gonna spend the next hour and a half just getting this stupid line to go where I want it to go. Man, that one was so close. I mean, I might be able to move this a little bit. You know, the game, it, 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 your, your, my town's still growing, but shrinking. Growing and shrinking. I'm about to go <laughs> across the 1,000 uh, threshold. The problem is I, I need to serve mail immediately after that, and I'm not anywhere near being able to do so. Yeah, and, you, and I think also your requirements for alcohol and passengers will increase. Oh, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Actually, that's going to be a very big issue. I don't think it'll increase by much, but it will. I mean, I'm barely covering my, my quota. I might have to start shipping fruit from other places, probably farther away. I have some options, but it's still going to be tricky. Uh, can get to one of the platforms at Freddy Haddon Station from the right hand side of the track really I mean you can get to this one you can get to this one you can go to oh yeah you're right thank you <laughs> uh, have you seen the industrial station rooms mod before uh, I've played with it like just uh, on my own for testing uh, a couple days ago so technically this is sort of the first time I'm using it I love it Dude, I mean, look at these stations showing you like exactly what's happening. It's great. Um, so I'm gonna have to move this. I think it's what's gonna happen. Let's start with that. 
and that way we can sneak the uh, passenger lines on this side. Uh, I want these trucks to actually go. Just keep orders, go turn around. I might have to start delivering to some of these towns on my passenger line so that they grow. Let's see if I can get something like this. Can I go one more tile? Yes. Okay, I just flattened the top of a mountain, but don't worry about that. I think I was betrayed by my town. Buildings are finished, you know, being constructed, and it's it's still just. When you said betrayed, I, th I thought you meant like, oh, they're now on my side for some reason. Oh, I think they are. What, what did you did you do something here? To my I, I gave them trees <laughs> <laughs> and booze, trees and booze. How dare you? This is the most expensive truck stop in the world. So I just demolish a giant mountain and somehow I'm still very profitable. That's great. Only well, luckily, in OpenTTD. Yeah, I mean like luckily you don't have to like keep paying off the fact that you destroyed a mountain. Yeah. The one time cost. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's pretty. Yeah. I'm trying to like at least make it somewhat nice looking. All right. Hang on, I need to like open my window because it's getting really toasty in here. <laughs> One second. excited for this line you know I really should have paid my guy arguing with the cop off better so you'd be miserable in your warm room <laughs> did you have to take a loan for that yeah that's why I had any <laughs> loan in this game also by the way uh, I've learned how to terraform diagonally which is also very handy. Oh, there's a what? giant gap. Yeah, so like if you go uh, to the landscaping options, see how you, if you like click oh, and drag. Control. Yeah, if you hold control, it will go diagonally, which is amazing. Okay, here I think I need to start coming down. Let me just. Uh, what just happened? Huh? <laughs> Was that you? Yeah. Oh, what a... I, ju I just thought you wanted a nice little curve, you know, would have been really scenic and pretty. I see, I see how it's this is. Across through there. You know, what is. You can thank me later for it. I don't have enough money to like destroy your road network. 
Oh, I have enough money to destroy yours. Okay, if this if this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, I'm just seeing how much your your people actually make per year. It's probably not even worth it. No, most of our money is from training. Let's make this station pretty. Oh, suddenly it's like really laggy. Okay, now it seems to be fine. Yeah, long-term plan, disconnect, I win by default. <laughs> I can't believe my town basically got reset by like 300 people. There we go, that's a nice station. Right, chat, make sure that I didn't miss any connections here, because you're obviously better at looking out for those things than me. Ah, uh, yes, something is like lagging hard. Suddenly it looks like my mouse cursor stops responding. I don't know if that's on your um. end or on mine. I don't know. I think I'm fine, and my stream, at least my bitrate for the stream is normal. Yeah, that's what it looks like on mine. Uh, it's just the game that's like behaving erratically, but yeah. Okay, so we have that. So, signals all the way, good. We need another depot there. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a little bit laggy. When I click on like place a depot, it takes like half a second to place it. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to see ping. Hmm. Also, oh man, it, it would have been so nice if you can like connect stations after the fact, as opposed to not being able to connect them after the fact. Holy crap, there's like four buses in one stuff. No, oh, you know what, let's just get rid of this. They even have like classification yards for ISR. I feel like approach medium is missing out on that. Yeah. There's no point in designing the stations when it's just literally packed with people in them. <laughs> All right. Well, here, look up, look up my station in uh, my main town right now. I just finished redesigning it. Oh, let's see. On uh, your uh, central, wow, that's mm -hmm. crazy station. Except no one's using it. Uh, well, yeah, because my town doesn't have 500 people, so, you know. Yeah. Just whatever. Mine is, like, over a thousand already. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's, let's go crazy with our money here. Let's spend as much as possible. <laughs> wow, running cost on this is really steep. Let's go with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a new industry to bring to town. I think. All right. Look 
Okay, let's see how this does. Is there a mod list somewhere? Yeah, the mod list is right here. Here, let's put it there. That way we can see what's happening on this on this thing. Let's actually, you know what? In the meantime, let's just follow this train. Uh, sorry, I sort of I was focused on getting the train, and I see that there's a lot of uh, chat action going on. Um, Junkerline, welcome to the welcome to the stream, and welcome to my channel, I guess. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of OpenTTD lately, and uh, I just uh, yesterday recorded the last um, the last episode of Narwood Express. We're only going to have eight episodes. The last one is going to be extra long because uh, uh, I learned why. I mean, sorry, I didn't learn why the um, the old rigs weren't appearing, but uh, I fixed that. So the last episode is going to be like 40 minutes long because we're going to be doing a lot of uh, things. I actually had to re-record that episode. Um, and eight, train 8 is lost. It's not lost. Um, and uh, I mean, we're still like on a, yeah episode 6 and episode 7 should come up maybe next week. And then episode 8. Eight, which will be the final will be the week after and there's gonna be a link in the description of that one to download the save game in case you want to why was there no passengers loaded on that thing hang on turn around turn around turn around go back in I guess none of these passengers want to go wait really let's try that again I think it needs to like activate the line. Really? Not a single passenger went in? What about mail? Mail did go. It's very strange. Hmm. Uh Terran Jokes, thank you for the sub. Here, let's uh let's name this train after you. Um let's uh what is it, train twelve. I guess I could just click it on here. I've been naming uh, trains after sub, so Terry and jokes. Boom, you have the fanciest train of our network so far. Uh, you're missing a lot of connections towards the exit. You can get in and out one way. Okay, can you be more specific which exit? This exit? Oh, yeah, you're right. Holy crap. See, I, I knew that I was going to mess this up. Uh, this one can actually go this way, so that's not too bad. This is kind of a spaghetti junction. Not not a huge fan of it, not going to lie, but... Okay, this is being loaded. Oh, wait, I know why this is not working. No, wait, stop. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Thank you. Because I refitted it to mail, and it should have been passengers. Okay, now I'm really confused. Wait, why is this not working? There's not a single passenger inside of this. Why people don't want to... I mean, I know we have cargo distribution, but... That's weird that no one wants to go to... to our capital. What about this? Mail, we have quite a bit of mail, but no one wants to, uh, to go to Green Hill City. Why? What am I missing? Hey, so I have a I have an issue here. Maybe you can help. Shoot. So you see that train that I just uh, that new line that I come up with the the long passenger line that has a ton of mail as well. Uh, it's not picking up passengers on either station. 
I think it has to do with cargo distribution, but like why, like not even one passenger wants to get on that train? Like, that's weird. Where's your train? It's uh, pulling in. Pulling in now. Yeah. I guess it's now picking up passengers, huh? Um, I mean, if it just left the station up there, no, then I, I know, and nothing. I know it like opens the line the first time, but like I forced it to go back on the station a couple times, and it didn't do it. And then on the other end, after the first run, it just didn't pick a single passenger, only male. So well, you know, I don't want to go to Freddinghaden either. Yeah, <laughs> you see, everyone wants to leave Freddinghaden. <laughs> Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I see. Oh crap, my town is not growing. Oh, uh, we need more passengers and alcohol and mail. Just everything. We need everything. Hey, I've recovered up to 400. Okay, let's add a, a bit more stress on this line. Okay, let's, uh, on top of this station, let's just add a few more bus lines. So we're gonna connect these two together and put this one there. It just takes a while for the game to register a new route and start providing passengers to it. Yeah, that's what I thought, because we have cargo distribution and I'm not super used to playing with that feature. Let's see if this, yeah, holy crap. Okay, we need two of these trains now. Off you go. This station is insane right now. So we're gonna add another, maybe another smaller service between these two stations, mainly because it's like really short distance. Um, do we wanna connect straight up? Sure, yeah, why not? No time to waste here. Uh, I do want to improve on the terrain here just slightly. That looks about right. No, I didn't want that. And also didn't want that either. <laughs> I wanted just the regular block signals here. So we have that going. I think we could start sending two smaller trains, like this ones, for example. We can do um, sure. Let's clone these two. From here to here. And let's have two of those. How much full this, oh my God, this is like totally full. This is awesome. We might be able to even add a third train on this line. Have we repaid our loan? Yes, we have. How much money is this guy making? Is what I would like to know. Oh my God. Okay, 
Let's get two more of those. I feel like I'm already putting a ton of stress on this on this line, but we'll see what happens. We might need to add a few more platforms. I wonder if we should treat this whole thing as one giant block and get rid of this signal. That might help things a bit. Uh, Rambalsi says, have to go now. Thanks for the entertainment. Have a, have a great rest of your week. End. <laughs> How's my evening going? Uh, well, it's still morning. Well, I guess it's afternoon now. Just 30 minutes past noon. And... Uh, on the west coast of the US, but so far so good. It's it's uh, gonna be a pretty warm weekend, so I'm excited about that. Because uh, I'm gonna be inside of this room recording videos, probably. Actually, I need to go to Ikea to buy up some furniture. I'm probably gonna be uh, putting a big couch back here on the screen. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be seeing this in a, in a couple of streams, probably. Uh, I have some guests coming from out of town, and obviously this is my I mean, this is my studio, but also happens to be my guest room because I can't have an extra guest room. Uh, but I could if you all chip in on my Patreon page. <laughs> I could just rent a you know, there's, I think there's a mod. Uh, apartment. I don't know if you want to try it at some point. And it lets you kind of set signals to like, if there's a train coming by at a fast speed, even though a slower train reaches the signal first, it will wait for the faster train to go. Uh, I didn't quite understand what you mean. So, you know how right now signals are kind of like first come, first serve? Yes. But say you have a train that's going really fast and it's going to blow through the signal block mm -hmm. quicker than this train that's just now getting started. Yes. But it will still stop because the slower train reached the block before it did. Mm-hmm. I think there's a mod to where it does the opposite. Oh, like if, if there's enough momentum, it will just continue. Mm -hmm. I see. That's that's nice. Oh, we need to start looking into steel. By the way, my passenger routes are super profitable. <laughs> yeah, mine mine are definitely getting there now. And my town will soon have 500 people again, and soon will produce people. They will produce people? <laughs> Hopefully soon. I mean, I hope they're producing people. I don't know how they get people otherwise. Let's get to Dang, this. 50,000 from a passenger route? You kidding me? I keep doing half things and forgetting about them because I go into like a different rabbit hole. Uh, like, for example, I would put like bus... Uh, bus stops connected to a station, but like forget to actually run buses and I move <laughs> to a different thing. Yeah, that's not helpful. Let's run these buses here. Uh-oh, it's gonna kick me. Possible connection loss. Hello? Uh, are you there, Huthris? I'm still streaming, right? Yeah, okay, so it kicked me, and I don't think Uthris is able... Yeah, his stream is down. Oh man, I think his connection is down. Yikes. Let's see. He's still technically connected to... Oh, his power is out. Oh, no. Uh, hang on. Um... Oh, that is so disappointing. Uh, yeah, his power is out. Let me... I'm asking him if he, if he has, like, autosave. I mean, he's really like literally typing on this corner on his phone. Yeah, his stream went down too, obviously, because <laughs> if you have no power. Uh... Oh, that's so annoying. Ooh. 
Welp. I was making so much money too. Ah, <laughs> uh, here I wanna open Discord on the on the second computer. I'm pretty sure I was ahead. Just so you know. I mean, so the first game we we played. Uh, I don't want this here. There we go. Thanks. Um, the first game that we played. Oh no, no auto save. Yikes. All right, I think I think that does it. Okay, give me give me a second here. Uh, well, that's. Oh, you're you're back. Yeah, but my whole PC restarted. Are you? Uh oh. So is the power back on? Or just uh, you're on it, your phone? It just went out for like 30 seconds. Oh, oh crap. My girlfriend Ooh. was also trying to do something and she lost whatever she was doing. That's annoying. Yeah, next time we should probably turn on auto save. Uh, at least we can get 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 I'm it back. Go see if it was on. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's double check. Um, uh, if not, I might actually switch to a different game. Just for like a bit. I wanted to try uh, Rise of Industries on a stream. So if you're interested in that, stick around. If but we're we're trying to get Open to D back up if possible. Where do I check to see if autosave is enabled? Okay. Uh, so let me it says autosave every 12 months. Okay, yeah. That should do it. Yeah, I really need to get a UPS, honestly. Okay, let's see. Start server. Load game, autosave. I don't know which is the most recent. I think it's just like autosave, like like a little literally a saving called autosave. Whatever the there should be only one, I think. Actually, maybe if I, maybe I. I have thirteen of them. Oh, okay. Were we in nineteen ninety already? Mmm, I don't think so. I mean, so oh wait, no, no, yeah, yeah, we might because we started in the eighties. So let's see. I loaded it, and I'm getting a. Uh, Game script error. Or hmm. City Builder. So City Builder might might have broke. No, it's working. Okay. Wrong password. Uh, hang on, let me switch to this for a second. Join game. Yeah. The password that you sent me before no longer works. But I see the server, it's up, and it's year, year 1990. I think I'm getting an issue with the... Um... Okay, yeah. The password was changed back to... What a UPS or... is a device that... It's basically a giant battery that uh, when the power goes out, it gives you, like... Well, it depends on which quality of UPS to buy, but it gives you like between 15 minutes to like an hour or two of you being able to use the computer Being, uh, connected uh, without having to have power, basically. Index number cargoes does not exist. Uh, what's, what's happening exactly? Basically the game doesn't know it, it didn't keep the script settings, and so I was trying to start a new city builder. Let's see. Let's do that. Uh, in the meantime, I wanna, I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom. <laughs> Be right back. Yeah, sure. I'll troubleshoot this.
Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good. Any luck? Um, I'm still getting a script error, and so basically it just pauses the game and prevents you from until it's fixed. So I'm kind of reading through. Hmm. Are you back uh, streaming or? or are you yeah, I have the error up actually. Oh, going over cool. Right yeah, let's. Uh, you know what? It. Let's. Let's put you on on the screen here. Huh. Oh, so this is like instructions on how to actually get this fixed, right? Well, I'm looking at server setup and see if they have anything about like, if you if you save and load, if that, you know, is a common error that we're getting up above. Hmm. This might be a little bit difficult to fix. <laughs> um, where can I find the music playlist? Uh, I think the here. issue is that like the default script keeps getting turned off. Hold on, let me try Sorry. one last Wrong time. link. Yeah. May or may not work. You know, I'm, I'm copying and pasting between two computers. That's why I gave you the wrong link. There we go. That's the playlist. I mean, it's literally the uh, 2014 version of the Transfer Tycoon soundtrack. I think the issue is, even though I'm telling the game to use city builder it's defaulting to not use city and it's oh. causing it to break oh well, like it should start with city builder but i mean it's weird like it should work even if you have a local save right i don't know i'm not, have you have you tried saving and loading with city builder yet or no uh yes actually but i'm, I'm i was using a different city builder script than the one you're using the one you're using actually looks more legit than the one i was using <laughs> Uh, I was using simple city builder. And because no one pitched in any tips on chat, I'm assuming not that many people use it. <laughs> yeah. I think we might have to do this again some other time, honestly. Okay, that's totally fine. Again, I'm, I'm sorry about that. No, no worries. I mean, shit happens. That's okay. Um, I think I want to switch to Rise of Industries, so yeah. And All then right, you're gonna go get that a shot. It's, it's relatively new, right? It's yeah. It comes out uh, officially. Uh, I mean, right now it's on early access, uh, and the developer sent me a key, so I'm gonna try it out. And I mean, I already kind of played it off camera, but I keep losing money, so just watch me lose money on the stream. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we can try OpenTT again, maybe with uh, Approach Medium and Vesicle House, and maybe next week or the week after. That's a loud yeah. motorcycle. Um, but uh, anyways, well, this was fun. I think it was a little bit ahead, but I don't know how like you were on the brink of. I think you were ahead on in terms of the actual city builder goal, which was the main goal we were shooting for. Yeah. So you won that. All right. I made more money, but that's not really. <laughs> what I was we making a lot of money at the end, but yeah. Uh, so I guess we're like I'm two ahead, and you're you won the last one, right? So yes. we're kind of like head to head still. Be interesting to see how this progresses, <laughs> especially with more people, and we have to start fighting over more industries. So oh, totally. That'll yeah, be yeah. All, right, All right, sir. Well, I'll go ahead and end my stream here. Um, I'll probably send everyone over to yours. All right. Cool. Host, and, uh... That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. All right, I will talk to you later. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye. Okay. So everyone on my stream, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the stream. Well, hang on. First of all, I'm gonna load up the game. Switch to here. Uh, 
Let's close this. We can actually turn the OpenTT music off. So uh, let me first update the stream title. So Rise of Industry. So basically this game is very similar to uh, to what um, to what OpenTTD is, except you don't control the the traffic so much, but you do care more about the supply chains. And like I said a second ago, I keep losing money, but uh, here I'll let me bring it up. And I'm I'm gonna cut the stream that way. Twitch gets like a new recorded uh, vod out of this. Like I uh, like I said, I played a little bit. According to that, I played like two hours. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing this for like another hour until I run out of money. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so Rise of Industry. Okay, so I'm, I'm updating the stream info, and I'm going to uh, cut it and resume it. <laughs> 